blue blood. Blue bud? Blue buds. We're just blue friends. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becca Does The Thing. This is my second video here on YouTube and I think I'm moving up in the world. I have a microphone now. Okay. Yeah. I have a microphone. I have a big mirror behind me. I have my ring light turned on actually for the entirety of the video and I have a tripod so my camera actually maybe is kind of level. If I'm wonky, let me know. Um, so today I thought that in honor of the Jeffree Star Blue, Bu Blue Blood, Blue Bud? Blue Buds. We're just blue friends. Anyway, in honor of the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette coming out that I would revisit this bad guy. This is the Huda Sapphire Obsessions palette. This is one of their little palettes that they came out with in a specific color story. They are $27. I thought that I would take this palette since it has so many blues um, and do a blue look with it just in case you were out there and you were wondering should I have the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette. Now, why is that so hard to say? Blue Blood palette. The blue palette. <laughs> We're just going to call it the blue palette because my voice, my tongue, whatever it was, will not do it. Anyway, so if you're wondering, should I buy this? Will I wear enough blues? Do blues look crazy? We're going to probably look crazy at the end of this, but I'm going to use this palette today. Um, and I'm going to do a blue look. And we're just going to see how it turns out. I don't know. I don't have a plan. I just got off work. I've put on my pajama pants. So we are going to... We're just gonna do it at this point. My base is probably wonky because I've been wearing it all day. I'm not even wearing a highlight, so I don't know who I am as a person anymore because I'm just just not wearing one. So let's just let's just fix that really quick. And this is the Jeffree Star sarcophagus um, that I pretty much have been wearing every day forever now. I rarely wear anything different and if I do it's Jeffree Star the um the white one what is it the ice one I'll wear that one too just depending on how pale I am that day I'm really not wearing any blush or a whole lot of contour or anything I did use my Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette just a tiny bit oh that catches the light that's nice um, just a little bit, not for a very harsh contour or anything. I did not wear a lot of makeup today, not feeling my best today, but I'm here and we're in it and we're going to do it. It's fine. If I can find my brushes. Okay, so I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush right now and I'm going to dig into, let's just, let's just go there. I'm going to dig into this blue color right here. These don't have names. But they are just small, compact travel palettes. So that is probably why they don't have names. But we are just going to put that all over our crease. And I do find when I'm using these that they are, they are really good palettes. I find them to be very good palettes. I don't have any complaints in them or anything. I do find you have to build it up a little bit but that is not a make or break for me if I have to build it up a little bit um because generally if I'm wearing blue on my eyes I'm not going to work so we're just gonna throw this in my crease I really have no plan at all for what I'm gonna do um okay so I think with the same brush I am gonna take this kind of electric -y blue and I'm going to follow that same shape on my eye and kind of deepen it and I don't know I know that these are probably old news I am new to them I bought okay so I don't know where I was or even what color I was putting on my face. My boss just called me. I think I was just deepening up my eyes. Um, so I don't know what I was talking about, honestly. Not like it was probably anything major that we would need to revisit. All right. 
so we have that blue laid down and I think that I'm going to take this same royal blue right here and kind of smudge that underneath my eyes. But if you ever want any any videos with just amazing makeup looks that to some people are wearable, to some people aren't, I highly recommend um, Make Me Up Missa. I love her. She is who I will sit and watch all day long. So we have that laid in. I am going to take this color, this darkest blue in the palette, and I'm really going to deepen this outer corner right here. Um, because I'm thinking that I want most of my crease and outer corner to be these really dark blues. And then I'm going to take, I think the silver color is what I'm going to take and put kind of on the inner part of my eye. Just so we're using blue, but we're also, you know, utilizing some normal colors and whatever. I think any color is normal if you want to wear it. Alright, so now that we've done that, I'm going to take this silver color, and y'all, these are so soft to the touch, and they are just beautiful. And I'm going to take it, and I'm going to pack it all over this inner portion of my eye. And I would suggest if you're doing this to do your base last, but I was wearing my base all morning, so it is what it is. It'll be fun. So I'm thinking... That this is an eyeshadow topper because it doesn't have much base pigment it's just got tons of multicolor sparkle are we seeing that I think it's beautiful though and I'm gonna use it because I'm not going anywhere with this look on my face anyway so it doesn't matter I'm just gonna wipe my face off I'm also going to hmm, I think I'm gonna use this lime greeny color just on my pinky and put it on this inner corner. Um, but I ordered the ColourPop Just My Look palette and what I'm thinking about doing is a comparison between the green one of these, which I also own, and the ColourPop Just My Look palette. Because when I was looking at the Just My Look palette, I was in love with it. But when I saw swatches of it, to me it was very, very similar to this palette, at least on the computer, the green palette of this one, not this palette but the um, Emerald Obsessions, and so I'm thinking that that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do like a little comparison. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure yet. I don't know. Okay, so I am going to throw on a wing, and throw some eyeliner in my waterline, and then maybe a lip, I don't know, and we'll be back just to see what we've got. Okay, we are back, and I just did a wing on the eyes. Um, put some liner in my waterline and finished it off with the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy, I believe it is. So this is it, and this is using, again, the Sapphire Obsessions palette by Huda Beauty. And this is in honor of the Jeffree Star Blue palette that I can't say that's coming out that I'm so, so excited to get my hands on. I do not use blues a lot either. I don't. And I know that everybody's scared of blues because we all grew up in 2008. I know. But I think that they can be really, really beautiful and they can complement a lot of eyes. So if you're wanting to get that palette and you're nervous about it, um, maybe look through your eyeshadows, pull out this palette if you have it, any, any palette that you have with some blues in it, and just try to incorporate it in your everyday life. I don't think that we need to be scared of it. And it's Jeffree Star, so we know that the quality is going to be amazing. But that is all that I have for this video. If you will leave a comment, like, and subscribe, that would mean so, so much to me. Thanks for watching. Bye.